All right guys, so this is a bit of a weird video because I'm reviewing Lucid Dreamleaf, right? The, the Lucid Dreaming pills or supplements that you may have seen on the internet. Um, but I don't actually have the bottle. You know, I've actually not got the bottle anymore. So <clears throat> where normally if I was reviewing a supplement, I'd hold the bottle up like this so you can see I've actually tried it. In this situation, I have got rid of the bottle because I've used it and you know, this was a few months ago. To be honest with you guys, I just forgot to make the review video. It completely passed my mind. I just had other things. I did made other videos. And I just forgot, like I just managed to, I was trying it out and writing notes on it and I just forgot to review it and so threw the bottle away. But you know, it doesn't, besides the theatrical effect of showing you the bottle of the thing I'm reviewing, I can just put a picture on the screen so you know what it looks like. And the chances are if you're watching this review video, you know what Dreamleaf looks like because you are looking for a review on Dreamleaf. Or maybe you're one of my subscribers and you're just seeing this because it's my latest video. In which case, if you're interested in, in Lucid Dreaming Pills, you're gonna to wanna to hear this. But if not, that's fine. Just, you know, leave a casual like as you exit the uh, the YouTube watch screen and I'll see you tomorrow. So Lucid Dreamleaf looks like this. Maybe I should snap my fingers. It looks like this. It consists of two pills, one red and one blue. It famously is advertised using the red and blue pills as in the pills from The Matrix because in the movie The Matrix, when Neo is given a choice between the red or the blue pill, one of them will let him sort of uh, I think Morpheus said something like it will let him stay in Wonderland and see how deep the rabbit hole goes, meaning to see how far he can expand his mind and learn new things and be aware of like the new world that he could experience. So Lucid Dreamleaf is pretty similar to that in their marketing. They've uh, they've tried to be this sort of matrixy, dreamlike company which offers lucid dreaming supplements in the form of these pills. So as it stands at the moment, okay, and I'm gonna get onto the ingredients and how they work and, and more importantly why they work um, and how you can use them. And also I'm gonna, at the end of this video, I'll talk about some of the limitations of Dreamleaf and maybe how you can uh, improve it using your own techniques. And also there'll be some links in the description if you're lazy and you don't wanna watch this whole video, there'll be some links in the description where you can just click on the link, go and see more testimonials and more reviews and learn more about Dreamleaf. So the links will be in the description but I would advise you to keep watching before you consider buying it just because I've got some things to say about the ingredients and how they work. So the blue pill, the blue pill contains 5-HTP and mugwort. Now, each of these ingredients on their own can help induce lucid dreams. I should say it can help support lucid dreams, not induce. They can help support lucid dreams. So then the red pill has choline, alpha-GPC, and Hoopazine A. There are various lucid dreaming supplements which have a mixture of these ingredients or maybe some have like just one or two. These guys, Dreamleaf, have created a system where you use both types of lucid dreaming supplement in one sort of effective method. And I'll, I'll get onto exa exactly how it works. There are certain substances which cause a REM rebound effect. Re REM is your rapid eye movement sleep, okay? This is where most dreams, and especially lucid dreams, happen. You have about five to six REM sleep cycles or REM sleep stages during your night's sleep. Now, if you have something, if you take a substance, which is a REM suppressant, which has a REM rebound effect, what that means is you take something, first thing before you're going to bed before going to bed it suppresses your REM sleep for the first half of the night but then in the second half of the night when the half-life you know when that substance has been absorbed by your body and the effects have almost worn off in the second half of the night your body will then respond by giving you a massive boost in your REM sleep it's known as the REM rebound effect this is very beneficial to lucid dreaming for a number of ways firstly you have longer REM sleep periods towards the end of the night secondly they're happening at a time of the night where you're most likely to lucid dream because of the hormones balanced in your body serotonin versus melatonin your body is starting to wake up and alert yourself ready for the day but at the same time you're still very sleepy and very likely to dream. This means it's it's the perfect sweet spot for learning for lucid dreaming because your hormones are balanced in just the right way so that you're alert but you could still be asleep, as in lucid. And because of this REM rebound effect from the 5-HTP in the blue pill of Dreamleaf, you're gonna experience longer REM sleep. So that's the sort of foundation for this. It's like suppressing your REM sleep during the first half of the night and then giving you this REM rebound, which is like opening up your window for lucid dreaming in the second half of the night. Okay, so we'll get we'll we'll revisit this in a minute, but just bear in mind at the moment, the blue pill that you take first before going to sleep is going to suppress your REM sleep and then give you the REM rebound. And then obviously along with the blue pill is is uh, mugwort, which is just like a relaxant. It's going to help you fall asleep faster and it's going to help you enter that deep sleep stage quicker. 
Right, so it basically it's a sleep aid. Mugwort is the sleep aid part of the 5-HTP, of the uh, blue pill, sorry. And then 5-HTP is the part that's going to suppress your REM sleep and give you the rebound effect. Okay, so that's the blue pill. You take that first before going to sleep. I'd advise you to take it as close to falling asleep as possible. Not a few hours before. I would advise you to take it just before falling asleep. And that's what I've been doing. Now, the red pill. So the red pill is meant to be taken, it says four hours later, I would advise six hours later, but that depends on your personal sleep cycles and, and when you fall asleep. I would advise to take the red pill after six hours of falling asleep, so that you're just gonna target that REM sleep a bit better. But this is just, again, this is based on the way my sleep works. So I find that for me, my best chance of lucid dreaming is after six hours of sleep, not four. It might be different for you. Obviously experiment, write notes, keep a journal, that sort of thing. This review will go on a bit, but I promise you, if you watch this whole video, you'll have a huge, like a, a much better understanding of how this thing works and why it works, and it will help you to make an informed decision. So keep, please stick with me here. If you're considering buying any lucid dreaming supplements, you need to understand how the ingredients work and how they're going to actually give you a lucid. So we've talked about the blue pill. The red pill is going to slow down the breakdown of ACH. So specifically, the hupazine A is going to slow down your body's ability to break down ACH. Without knowing what that means, basically it's going to help you start to feel more alert and aware. So ACH is acetylcholine and the hupazine A is what's known as an acetylcholine reuptake inhibitor. It stops your body being able to sort of disperse and take away extra ACH, meaning that you become more aware and alert at a time when you should be asleep. This is what's going to help you become lucid and it's what's going to help you raise your consciousness and be able to be aware even though you're asleep. So then the choline butartrate helps, slightly helps with you know, memory and dream recall, but the main effect is it's just gonna bolster the hupazine A and help you maintain your level of awareness while you're, while you're dreaming. And then alpha GPC, without getting into too much about alpha GPC, basically it helps you maintain your alertness, and, but specifically it helps you promote sort of your critical thinking or your rational, you know, your logical, rational thinking mind during REM sleep. This is important, okay, because, and each of these ingredients does play a key part here, it's important that you open up and keep active your rational thinking mind, otherwise you might have a vivid dream, you might be lucid, but if you don't have that background of rational thinking, you'll just be swept along with the dream and it won't last very long. So in my opinion, Alpha GPC is important for maintaining a long lucid dream because it keeps your rational brain on. That's how the two pills work, okay, they work in combination. The blue one is sort of like a setup pill to just to get your mind in the right place and to help you fall asleep fast at the beginning and to promote a REM rebound effect. Then the red pill is going to be focused on increasing your level of critical thinking, making sure that you stay alert and aware even though you're going to be going back to sleep to lucid dream. So that leads me on to how this actually works, right? So you take the blue pill, you fall asleep, and then after about five hours or six hours, you're intended to wake up, so you need to set an alarm, and then take the red pill. Now, because it has some ingredients which can cause like stomach problems for some people, I would always advise taking it with a small snack. Again, this is just me, and a lot of people find that it's absolutely fine without a snack, but I've always found that if I take a pill on an empty stomach, especially at like five in the morning, I don't feel so good. Some people do wake back to bed and they can wake up for an hour. You know, even go for a walk or read a book and then go back to sleep and they still find they can lucid dream. I can't do that because once I'm awake, I'm up and my body's like fired up and ready to go. I can't then go back to sleep unless I'm really, really tired, which I'm not usually, I'm not usually really tired. So, so yes, so I would advise to have a snack by your bed, take the red pill after six hours of sleep and then the, the idea with this whole thing is you do awake back to bed. You just go back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming. It's made, it's made more likely by the REM rebound effect and by the whole lit ingredients list of the red pill and the fact that you're doing awake back to bed. Now, is it effective? Yes, it does work, but it's not guaranteed. And the reason for that is that ACH reuptake inhibitors or you know, pr pretty much most lucid dreaming supplements rely on that process, okay, of just maintaining your critical thinking and making in lucid uh, lucid support more likely. They're quite rudimentary and they're quite sort of, yeah, they're quite basic, but they do work sometimes and they definitely give you some sort of edge, but they don't guarantee lucid dreaming. And in fact, you'd get a fairly similar result if you just did to wake back to bed on its own. 
it still gives you fairly reliable levels of lucid dreaming if you did the wake back to bed properly. That being said, the red pill and the blue pill in combination do have an effect. The blue pill, I would say, for me at least, is what worked the best. That was what gave me the most results. Now, I can't prove that because I never tried it with just the one. Maybe I should have done Maybe I should have just tried the, red, the uh, blue pill and done a wake back to bed without the red one. But, you know, if you've got the whole set, if you've got the red and blue pills, you may as well try them together. It can't hurt, you know, and it's going to give you that edge. So what I would suggest to do is just to, to get a batch, try them out. You can get a 30 day supply for like, I think, 20 or $30 uh, or less. You know, they always have sales on and everything. And by the way, if you click the link in my description, you should be able to get a discount as well, which I've negotiated for you guys. But yeah, I would, I would advise just to try it out but not to rely on it in the sense that you try it every single night with the pills. Because it, like I've said before, even if you just do wake back to bed every night, after a week or so, or even less, you're gonna feel awful. You know, you're gonna be constantly interrupting your sleep and that's not good for you. You need to have a reliable sleep cycle. Uh, you need to be waking up and getting up at the same time. Uh, sorry, waking up and going to sleep at the, roughly the same time. And by doing wake back to bed every day, every night I should say, you're gonna constantly be interrupting that, which is not good for you. So yeah, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. I had several lucid dreams when I was trying it. And in fact, I actually did write a review post about Dreamleaf months ago. I think even, you know, this was a long time ago that I, that I reviewed this thing. I just never made a video about it for some reason. Um, so I will link to my review post in the, vid in the description here if you'd like to learn more. And you know, you can read about my experiences then. But you know, overall it does work, it gives you an edge but you need to be aware that it involves wake back to bed, which is not good for you long-term. You have to do it every now and then. And yeah, I would advise to take a small snack with the red pill and wait six hours instead of the four that they recommend. Try all of this for yourself. Please go ahead and try it for yourself. See what works for you. Combine it with other things as well, like try meditating, try doing all the things you should be doing as well. And in that situation, you should see results. Overall, it's a good product. It's marketed well, it looks good, the ingredients are solid, the dosages are strong enough to have an effect. What more can you say? It's fairly cheap as well. Like it's sort of the, it's, it's a very good product to get, especially if you're new to lucid dreaming pills or supplements. And especially if you want something which is gonna play into that whole like adventurous spirit of the matrix of sort of going down the rabbit hole and just getting started. I completely approve of Dreamleaf and I think you should try it out. Check the link in the description. But also do, do your own research, read my post as well if you want to learn a bit more. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything in this video, but just in case, right? You know, sometimes I forget things, right? So that's it guys, leave a like. I'm sorry this video has gone on a long time, but hopefully you now understand a bit more about like how the ingredients work and what's in it and why they've decided to combine two pills instead of just having it all in one. Anyway, I've said enough. You've, you've, you've been told enough to make an informed decision, hopefully. Go and look at the review post, do your own research, and let me know how it goes. Also, if you ever tried Dreamleaf, leave a comment letting me know how it was. Thank you, by the way, for your kind words about my hat in yesterday, not yesterday's video, in the other day's video. Much appreciated. I'm wearing a different hat in today's video. Leave a comment about that, I don't know. I just like it when you guys comment because it makes me feel like there's more of a community and I do read them. I genuinely read every comment, so. Anyway, see you tomorrow, done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.